Today we're gonna to be talking about the major inspections that you're gonna to wanna to be aware of when it comes to your Citation 500 series. So there's really only a few big maintenance items that you need to be aware of. For starters, you have your phase one through four inspections. Your one through four inspections are gonna primarily consist of exterior um, inspections to make sure there's no corrosion, make sure there's no cracks, make sure everything's functioning as it should be uh, on the outside. And that's gonna take place every two years. That's the phase one through four, every two years. Now, I appreciate you checking out this video. Before I continue, I want you to go to theultimatejetguide.com where I've put together a full guide for jet buyers like yourself. The next inspection you're gonna to wanna to be aware of is the phase five inspection. The phase five inspection is every three years. And it's more of an interior, more we're gonna pull out all the seats, we're gonna look under uh, under all the stuff and make sure there's no corrosion, make sure there's no cracks, make sure everything's functioning uh, correctly. It is a more uh, invasive inspection. And so as you can imagine, every six years, you're gonna have those inspections coincide. So when it comes to thinking about cost, for these inspections. Your phase one through four inspection can range anywhere from $12,000 base rate all the way up to 25, 30 grand, depending on where you're gonna take it. Their phase five inspection is gonna be about 20 grand up to maybe 35 of a base rate, again, depending on where you take it. Now that brings us into talking about shops. So what do you have to consider when you're looking at a maintenance shop? Now you can go to Bob's Garage um, and that's probably gonna be the cheapest way, but you're gonna get what you pay for. You could go to a Citation or Textron service. The other place you can go to is a Textron service center. Now the problem with the service centers is they're more of a replace versus a repair station. And so you're gonna pay a lot of premium um, and they're also not as experienced with the older planes like the 1970s, 80s, and 90s planes that you might be taking to them. So yes, you get what you pay for, but it's also gonna be something that isn't really worth that money for the bird that we're working with. Now, when thinking about phase inspections, you got your phase one through four every two years, your phase five every three years. Another thing that you can consider is uh, the phase 49 inspection. That is like a window prism inspection. Now, the 49 has a little bit more to do with, uh, you know, more than just checking the, the windows for cracks, but I'm just giving you that example. Uh, to you know, when you're doing a pre-buy or just in general, it's gonna be one of the more uh, looked at items to check the windows for cracks. Beyond the phase one through four, the phase five, the 49, you also have a 10,000 hour inspection. Now the 10,000 hour inspection is exactly what it sounds like. It happens at 10,000 hours airframe time. Now the thing with a 10,000 hour inspection is you, you hear a lot of times that it's gonna be a very expensive uh, inspection, probably upwards towards maybe 60, 70, 80 grand, depending on where you take it. Now the thing is a lot of times because what they're doing with the 10,000 is they're, they're taking the plane apart, they're doing x-rays, it's, it's a whole, big thing. Now, what a lot of people will do is they'll go ahead and they'll just include a phase one through five inspection and other inspections at the time of the 10,000 hour. That's why the bill adds up. I mean, if you consider a 10,000 hour inspection on top of a phase one through five, that's kind of where we get this higher number. So while it may be a big inspection in and of itself, also keep in mind that after the 10,000 hour inspection, uh, your plane is going to be flying like new. You know, it's really, it's really taken apart really, really well, and you make sure that it's safe for you and your family. Now let's talk newer citations or uh, different citations. If you're looking at a CJ, you're looking at a Doc 8 and a Doc 10 inspection. Those pretty much mimic the one through four and the five. The Doc 8 is gonna be like one through four every two years. The Doc 10 is gonna be like a phase five um, every three years. The other thing people will consider when they're asking about maintenance programs is, what about a low utilization program? You've got your bacon programs, you've got Skyway MRO programs, and basically what these low utilization programs try and do is they try to limit the downtime and limit the uh, budgetary exposure. So for example, on a bacon program, your phase one through four is gonna be broken down into uh, every two years, you're gonna do a phase one through four A on the first year, and then two years later, you do a phase one through four B. So basically what it's doing is it's, it's, it's breaking up those inspections instead of a full one through four, you're doing half and half every two years, thereby your expenses are gonna be lower. And that's for a low utilization user who's flying under 200 hours. So you can look into the low utilization programs. The thing I will caution about those low utilization use, uh, programs is gonna be number one, the flight time, make sure you don't go over it. And uh, number two, when it goes to resale, um, if that person who wants to buy the plane doesn't want to be on that program, it will require a full phase one through five inspection. So that's something you'll want to consider, uh, you know, as you're taking care of your plane. 
so that pretty much does it with the inspections to keep in mind when you're looking to purchase a Citation 500 series or uh, a newer 525 series. If you have any more questions or you just want to learn more, definitely uh, click the links below. Check out this video over here. Connect with me online uh, at tom at intlams.com or you can find me on social media on LinkedIn, on Instagram. And of course, call me anytime, text me anytime if you want to go over some more stuff. Happy to work with you. Again, it's 941-216-1246. This is Tom with Jet Live. Talk to you later.